So back with the M4 here. Today we're gonna do a rail change and shot carrier for the side. This is the Mesa Tactical Aluminum Side Shell Carrier. Now I, I said this before when I unpackaged the M4 for you. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this is one of the finest pieces of gun parts that I have ever seen. It's flawless. It's uh, it's just really a, a pride of American production. A lot of firearms people out there know when they have something that's quality, you paid for it. It's not the cheapest piece out there, but it is really just perfect. I mean, no, the finish, the production, uh, everything is just flawless as can get. So first step here on the Benelli M4 is to take out the flathead screws. So there is a washer in there. I have a magnetic screwdriver. We're going to reuse we're going to reuse the screws and washers. Helps to have a magnetic screwdriver. Now, these are not Loctited. I suppose you could Loctite these, but I am not going to. Try not to ding your rail up while you're doing this. Washers go back in the cone shape down, meaning the raised lips will be facing up towards you. There was a pretty good layer of factory oil right there. And the other cool thing that uh, they provide you, you don't have to use this here, but um, they do provide some protection for the finish underneath. I suppose you could cut that in, but I'm gonna leave this layer of, of lubrication that the factory had under there. And this should just line up perfectly. With the factory location, there's five holes. Press down slightly. So a couple notes here, you can strip these screws. They recommend 15 foot-pounds. I kind of kept in mind as I uh, took this thing apart about how tight they were. You're also gonna want a lower profile screwdriver because the Picatinny rail can interfere uh, with your screwdriver and you can end up taking some chunks out. So just hand tight, be careful with these. Don't over tighten, you can strip these screws and that would be a very, very bad situation. You'd have to tap again and change size potentially. So don't do that. And the other thing is here is you tighten, you need to tighten all of them. So that's it for screwing it down. I don't, I don't wanna over tighten. Now they say that this can work both ways. You can put shells up or shells down, and they say it's slightly safer to have them. These are two and three quarter uh, shells. So they say you will need to change your training method. The easiest way to get these out is twisting rather than straight in or straight out. Um, I found that it's a lot easier to get them out than getting them in. You know, like any new system, you're gonna to need to learn it. They have a, a proprietary that they say is more combat effective, is that the shells are kept closer together. So I'll try it both ways at the range and see how the reloads work for me. But uh, that's it, very simple, beautiful piece. Sits perfectly straight, flush, everything machined well. Beautiful, beautiful product.